Hi everyone, happy Saturday. Thank you for joining me today. My name is Leanne and I'm with Power Yoga Canada. I teach at the Leaside location in Midtown Toronto. And uh, before we get started, I just wanna make sure that we're all set up. So you don't have to have a yoga mat. Um, anything will work, a towel, even just carpet that you're on a regular floor. Um, if you happen to have a yoga block or even a book or a prop that you could use, a water bottle is a great tool. There'll be some poses that maybe you um, wanna have a prop just to support your, your arm in a side pose. So if you've got a book or something handy, I'll invite you to grab that right now. And we'll begin on our mats today in child's pose. So come on to your mat with your knees wider than your mat. And extend your arms forward as you sink low onto your mat. Ground your forehead to your mat and allow your tailbone to sink deeper in between your heels. And you're gonna stay here in child's pose. Allow your hips to soften as you sink lower into your mat. And we'll begin our ujjayi breath. So that's an inhale through your nose and an exhale through your nose with your lips sealed. So ujjayi breath. And as you get used to breathing through your nose with your ujjayi breath, inhale and exhale with your fingertips extended to the top of your mat. Try to walk your fingertips two inches further, a little bit more to get a little more length in your spine. Deepen your breath with every inhale and exhale. Breathe in, slowly breathe out. Let's do that again. Fill up your belly, take in every sip of air and slowly press it all out. Let's take one more big breath. Inhale together. Open your mouth, sigh it out. Ha. Let's do that again. Take in a big, big breath of air. Big sigh, let it all go. Ha. Press back into downward facing dog. With your hands stacked underneath your shoulders, you're gonna lift your hips up and back as you ground down, press firmly into your palms, pressing the air bubbles out from underneath your palms. Shoot your tailbone up to the ceiling and back and find length down through the backs of your legs. It feels nice to pedal out your downward dog and bend your knees, loosen up through your hips. And take a moment here to allow your head to hang heavy. Release any tension in your shoulders. Press both heels down toward the floor or your mat, whatever surface you're standing on. Take a big breath, inhale, empty. Do that again, fill up. Breathe out. And walk your feet all the way to the top of your mat to meet your hands. Separate your feet hip width distance apart and we'll grab a hold of opposite elbows for ragdoll pose. And again, here, let your head hang heavy. Option to shake out your head, yes. Shake out your head, no. Or maybe you flutter your lips to let go of whatever you're still holding on to. It's a great opportunity here to maybe set an intention, and find something to be grateful for. Release your elbows. And as we come up to stand, one vertebrae at a time, take in a new breath of air as you come all the way up to stand. Pull your thumbs into heart center. Press your thumbs right into that little space. We'll take a big breath, inhale. 
Big sigh. One more. Inhale. Breathe out. Release your hands. Take in a new breath of air. Reach your arms up overhead. Come into a forward fold. Halfway lift. Extend the crown of your head forward as you pull the pit of your belly up and in. Bring your hands to your mat, chaturanga. Come into upward facing dog. Press back into downward facing dog. We'll stay here for two breaths. Inhale, breathe out. One more time. Inhale to lift your heels. Exhale, bend your knees, look forward, step or hop, come to the top of your mat. Take a half lift, get empty, fold forward, root down, rise all the way up, get long through your side body. Feel that extension through the side of your body as you reach toward the ceiling, fill up your lungs, get empty, come into forward fold. Take a halfway lift. Hands to your mat, chaturanga. Option to jump back or step back. Taking a new breath of air, upward facing dog, downward facing dog. One breath, breathe in, empty. Shift your weight into your toes, get empty, bend your knees, look forward, step or hop, come to the top of your mat. Half lift, pull your shoulder blades together. Empty, fold. Root down, reach up. Spark your fingers to the ceiling. Maybe there's a back bend there for you. Come into forward fold. Half lift, hands to your mat, high to low. Option to drop down here onto your knees. Come into downward facing dog. We'll do one more of those. Breathe in together. Empty. Come up onto your toes. Exhale, bend your knees, look forward, step or hop. Half lift. Exhale, bow. Reach all the way up, new breath of back. Exhale, come to forward fold. Half lift, chaturanga dandasana. Lower down, option to come to your knees, come into upward facing dog, press back. Downward facing dog, right side, warrior one. Step your right foot through, turn your back foot out just slightly. Reach up to the ceiling as you sink low into your front knee. Take one more breath, fill up. Bring your hands to your mat, chaturanga. Option to float your right leg high. Downward facing dog. Left side, warrior one. Big lunge forward, sink low, take a new breath of air, fill up. Hands to your mat, high to low. Downward facing dog. Breathe in. Empty. Shift your weight into your toes. Exhale, bend your knees, look forward, step or hop. Half lift. Exhale, fold. Chair pose, bring your toes together and your knees slightly apart. Sorry, your heels slightly apart. So your toes to touch, sink low into your heels. Hug in through the center line, pull your inner thighs together, knit your low ribs together as you sink lower into your heels. Maybe you can pick your toes up off your mat and give them a little wiggle. Set your gaze up in between your middle fingers. Stay for one more breath, fill up. Exhale, forward fold. Halfway lift, hands to your mat, chaturanga. New breath of air on your up dog. Get empty, downward facing dog. Right side, warrior one. Reach up, hands to your mat, high to low. Come back into chaturanga. Downward facing dog. Left side, warrior one, reach up, hands to your mat, high to low. 
We'll meet together, down dog. Stay for one breath. Inhale to lift your heels. Exhale, bend your knees, look forward. Step or hop by the top of your mat. Half lift, fold. Chair pose, Utkatasana. Bring your toes together again. Heels are slightly apart. Come right back into the fire. Sink lower into your heels. Stay with breath as you bring your gaze, your drishti up in between your middle fingers. Take one more breath. Inhale, come into forward fold. Half lift, step back or jump back for chaturanga. New breath up dog. Downward facing dog, right side, warrior one. Open to warrior two. Settle your drishti over your middle finger. As you sink lower into your front knee, if you notice yourself looking around the room, bring your gaze back to front of the room. Reverse warrior, flip your front palm. Let your eyes follow your fingers. Come back to warrior two. We'll do that one more time, reverse warrior. Bring your hands to your mat, chaturanga. Downward facing dog, left side, warrior one. Reach up, open to warrior two. Round down, press all four corners of your back foot down into your mat. Reverse your warrior. Come back to warrior two. One more time, reverse your front palm, follow your fingers. Hands to your mat, chaturanga. Downward facing dog. Take a breath, inhale, empty. Inhale, lift your heels. Exhale, bend your knees, come to the top of your mat. Half lift, bow, chair, toes together, heels apart. One more time. Take a breath, inhale to bring your hands to heart center. Twist to the right side. So you can twist here by hooking your left elbow over your right knee. And from there, that will give you access to twist a little more as you press against the outer edge of your right knee. Maybe you open your arms like wings. Take your gaze to your top thumb, take in a new breath, inhale. Exhale, come to forward fold. Separate your feet, hip width distance apart. And with your peace fingers, Scoop up your big toes. Allow your head to hang heavy. Maybe you shake out your head, yes or no. And really notice here, you can let go of something. Maybe it's the tension in your neck. Maybe you take your elbows a little bit wider and pull up on your big toes to engage your core. Release your toes. Toe heel your toes back together. Come back into chair pose. Bring your gaze up in between your middle finger. Take an inhale, bring your hands to heart center. And we'll take that twist over to the left side. Noticing if your right knee is popping in front of your left, square your hips. Open your chest or option to stay here with your hands in prayer. Extend the crown of your head on your inhale and on your exhale, twist a little deeper. Stay for one more breath, fill up. Exhale, forward fold. Separate your feet one more time. This time we'll take gorilla pose. Take the palms of your hands and slide them underneath your feet. Okay, if you need to bend your knees a lot here. Sometimes it's nice to soften through your knees and bend a little more so you can get your chest a little bit closer to your upper thighs. Shake out your head, yes. Shake out your head, no. Together, let's all flutter our lips for a clearing. <clears throat> Let something go that's not serving you. Release your feet. Come into a half lift. Bring your hands to your mat, chaturanga. 
Come into an upward facing dog. Press back together, downward facing dog. Take a big breath in together. Open your mouth, sigh it out. Ha. Bring your toes to touch at the back of your mat. Take your right leg high. Bend your right knee and open your hips. Allowing your left heel to press down towards your mat. Allowing your right knee to lift a little bit higher. And maybe here you rotate your ankle in either direction if that feels nice. Take a breath, inhale, get lifted a little higher. Exhale, drop your toes to touch. Lift your left leg high. Bend your knee, open your hips. Think of this as a full body yawn. As you lift your knee a little bit higher, rotate your ankle, drop your toes to touch, and come back to the right side. Lift your right leg high, pull your right knee to your nose. As you come up onto your left toes, exhale, press up and back. Take your right knee to your right elbow. Exhale, press up and back. Cross over to your left elbow. Up and back. One more time, bring your knee to your nose. Hinge forward as you come up onto your back toes and we'll step through into crescent lunge. Option to come down onto one knee. Option to press all the way up into crescent lunge. All 10 toes pointing toward the front of your mat or the front of the surface that you're working on. Get long through your side body, spark your fingertips to the ceiling, hinge forward, bring your hands to heart center and we'll twist to the right one more time. Extend the crown of your head forward. Notice if you're dumping into your side Lift the crown of your head higher than your heart. Take one more breath, inhale, and we'll spin to open to warrior two. Sink low into your front knee. If you have access to walk your foot forward a little bit more. So your knee should be stacked right over top of your ankle, not your toes. Focus your drishti, your gaze over your middle finger. Notice if you're holding on to tension in your shoulders. Soften that. Take a breath, inhale to hinge forward. Exhale, come into extended side angle. And this is where a block or a prop, that book, maybe you grabbed, is a really great tool to help you get a little bit more length here. So if you notice that you're dumping into your right side body, you're feeling crunched up, that block will give you that elevated lift to feel more empowered in the pose, to feel longer and stronger. Set your gaze to your top thumb, pull your left shoulder back a little bit more, take a breath, inhale, bring your hands to your mat for chaturanga. Inhale on your up dog, exhale, downward facing dog. Bring your toes to touch, take your left leg high, pull your left knee to your nose. Exhale, up and back. Left knee, left elbow. Exhale, press back. Cross to your right elbow. Press up and back. Pull your knee to your nose one more time. Come up onto your right toes and step through into crescent lunge. Again, remember, you can commodify by coming down onto your back knee. Wherever you are in the pose, find length. So you spark your fingers to the ceiling. Take a breath, inhale, bring your head to heart center. Twist to the left side. Inhale to extend the crown of your head forward. Exhale to twist and open a little bit more. Take one more breath, inhale. We'll spin to open warrior two. Track your knee over your baby toe. So notice if your knee is caving in, you wanna pull your knee back. Set your gaze, your drishti over your middle finger. Find stillness and ease as you soften into the pose. Nothing to do here except breathe. Nothing to think about. 
Let your wandering mind come back to the pose. Breath, inhale as you pinch forward. We'll take extended side angle on the other side with an invitation again to bring that prop, that block, water bottle, whatever you have, back underneath your left hand. Optional, of course, you can bring your fingertips to the mat, your full palm. Just be mindful if you're dumping into your left side body. Bring your gaze to your top thumb, take a full breath, inhale. Exhale, bring your hands to your mat, chaturanga. Downward facing dog. Bring your, toe, your feet hip width distance apart at the back of your mat. And we'll walk our feet halfway up our mat. Bring your toes to touch. Press your weight forward into the palms of your hands. And with lightness, we'll take five little tiny leap frog hops. The key here is to find soft landings. Do as many as you need, maybe it's two, maybe it's six. And whenever you feel complete, press back into downward facing dog. Walk your feet all the way to the top of your mat. And we'll rise up to stand, fill up your lungs. Eagle pose on the right. Take your right leg over, your right arm under. And sink low into your eagle. Option to take genie arms. I'm just gonna push this back so you guys can see me a little bit better. There we go. So hug in through the center line. Genie arms is an option if you're finding a struggle with eagle arms. Pull your shoulder blades together, bring your posture a little taller. Take one more breath, inhale. Exhale, release, reach up. We'll take eagle on the left side. Left leg over, left arm under. Genie arms is an option. And notice if you're feeling wobbly. Bring your focus back to your breath. Focus on something at the front of the room that's not moving. That will help you with your balance. Take one more inhale. Exhale, release, reach up. We'll take eagle one more time on the right side. Right leg over, right arm under. Hug into your inner thighs, pull your low ribs together. Lift your elbows up to shoulder height. And we'll slowly put our eagle to sleep for five counts. Four, three, two. Hug into a tight little ball. And slowly with control, come all the way back up to stand on five, four, three, two, release. Take it a new breath, inhale. Eagle pose, left side. Left leg over, left arm under. Elbows are shoulder height. And together with control, here we go to sleep for five, four, three, two. Hug in, pull the pit of your belly up and in. With control, come back to stand for five counts. Four, three, two. All the way back to stand, release. And we'll take tree pose on the right. Pick up your right foot, bring it to the inside of your calf or the inside of your upper thigh with your thumbs pressed to heart center. Option to stay here for tree or express out as you grow your arms bigger into a full expression of tree. Maybe you take a back bend. Maybe you see the ceiling above you. Sometimes it's as simple as bringing your eye gaze up two inches and you'll find that little baby back bend right there. Your breath will help with balance. Deep in the breath, inhale, breathe out. Take one more, fill up your lungs. Exhale, come down. And we'll find that same tree pose on the left side. Knowing that balance is different from left to right, so maybe if you are feeling a little wobbly on the other side, don't come into this feeling defeated already. Know that maybe this side works better, or maybe this is the side you're feeling wobbly. Wherever you are, come out of that. 
Row your tree when you're ready. Option to see the ceiling. See the back wall. Maybe you find that back bend. Stay with your breath. Fill up. Breathe out. Take one more inhale. Exhale, bring your tree pose down. Take a breath in as you fill up your lungs, reach your arms overhead, come all the way down into a forward fold. Half lift, hands to your mat, chaturanga. New breath on your up dog. Downward facing dog, ha. Take a breath in together. Big sigh, exhale. Shift your weight forward into high plank. Pull the pin of your belly up and in and notice if you've got your bum sticking up in the air or if you're sagging your tummy down to your mat. Pull your core up and in as you stay in the pose. Stay in the practice of high plank for five counts. Four, three, two, Press back into downward facing dog. Inhale to lift your heels. Exhale, bend your knees. Step or hop, come forward on your mat and make your way down onto your back for bridge pose. Lift your feet hip width distance apart. Lift your hips up off your mat as you press your palms firmly into the floor below you, allowing your hips to lift a little bit higher. And you're gonna squeeze your inner thighs together. Squeeze your glutes. Pull your inner thighs in a little bit more. Keep squeezing. Slowly drop your hips down onto your mat. Allow your knees to sway from side to side. Wheel is the next pose. If wheel is in your practice or if you've done wheel before, if you wanna try wheel, give it a try. The option, of course, is bridge. So come right back up into bridge if you don't want to do wheel. I encourage you to at least try one wheel together. Set up, go up. Here we go for wheel. Five, four, three, two. Tuck your chin, come on down. Let your knees sway side to side. And we're gonna do one more. Wheel or bridge. Yogi's choice, whichever you prefer, for wheel, bridge, setup, right here, go up. Last one for five, four, three, two. Tuck your chin, come on down. Sway your knees from side to side. Bring the soles of your feet together. Allow your knees to fall wider than your mat. Bring your left hand down to your heart and your right hand down to your belly for Supta Baddha Konasana. Notice your breath starting to slow as you reconnect yourself with your body and your breath. Take happy baby pose. Reach for the outer edges of your feet. Take your legs wide. And maybe here you sway from side to side if that feels nice. There's an option to hook your big toes and take a wide leg straddle with or without a rocking motion. Hug your knees back into your chest. And bring your hands behind your head. Take your right elbow to your left knee. Extend your knees away from you slightly. So you have a 90 degree angle with your torso and your knees. Another 90 at your knees to your feet. And we'll take bicycle twists for one, two, three, four. You can go at your own pace. Doesn't have to be with me. You can go faster or slower. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, That's 30, last 10, nine, eight, seven. Last four, three, two, hug your knees into your chest. Good 
Release your legs. Bring your hands down onto your mat to support your low back or your hips. Take your feet all the way to the ceiling with your toes flexed towards your nose. Take a breath, inhale. Exhale, lower down one third. Breathe, inhale. Exhale to two thirds. Take a big breath, fill up your lungs. Hover your heels over the floor. Lift your head, look at your toes and we'll crisscross our feet for 10, nine, eight, seven, last four, two, last time. Bring your knees into your chest. Grab a hold of the backs of your upper thighs and we'll take three rock and rolls up and down your mat. Massage out your spine. Come back to neutral. Drop both feet down onto your mat. Pick up your right foot and cross your right foot over your left knee. With your right foot flexed, press your right knee away from you and reach through your legs for thread the needle. It's a great hip stretch. If you feel tightness in your hips, you might notice that a little bit more here as you try to stretch them out. Sometimes it's these poses for our hips that soften our hips are the ones that we avoid the most because it's not the most comfortable. And often that just means that we need to do these kind of stretches or poses more often. Release, bring both feet back down onto your mat. Pick up your left foot, cross it over your right knee with your left foot flexed and your left knee presses away from you. Reach through your legs and pull your right knee towards you. For thread the needle on the other side. Do a little scan of your body and notice where you're holding on to tension. Where are you resisting this pose? Where can you soften? Take one more. Inhale. Exhale. Release. Drop both feet back onto your mat. Come all the way up to seated position with your legs extended long in front. Remove the flesh from under your sits bones. Take a breath, inhale. Exhale, come to forward fold. And if you can't quite reach your toes, that's okay. Bring a little bit more of a bend into your knees, that will help. Wherever you need to be in this pose. Meet yourself where you need to be. It doesn't have to be what everybody else is doing. It doesn't have to be the full pose. The modifications are okay. Give yourself permission to find those. Release your feet and slowly one vertebrae at a time, come all the way back down onto your mat. With your knees bent and your feet on your mat, pick up your hips, bring your hips to the right side of your mat, and allow your knees to fall left. Open your arms across your chest and take your gaze over your right arm for supine twist. Feel a nice twist through your low back. Inhale, come back through center. Lift up your hips, take them to the left edge of your mat, let your knees fall to the right and take your gaze in the opposite direction of your knees. Twist on the other side. Come back through center. And slowly roll yourself all the way back up to seated. Cross your legs at the top of your mat. Bring your hands to heart center. Press your thumbs right into that little space on your chest. Take a big breath, inhale together. Breathe out. Take one more deep inhale. Exhale. Bring your thumbs to your forehead center. Come with Light and love, I acknowledge each and every one of you for your practice today, for coming.
coming to your mat, for taking the time for yourself, for that self-care. We bow to each other and we say, Namaste. Nice work, everyone. Thank you for joining me. It was a pleasure to have you all here. Um, thank you again, and we'll see you soon. <laughs>